Welcome to the ultimate guide on acing your data scientist interviews using the STAR technique. Whether you're diving into the data world for the first time or shifting gears from another job role, you're in the right place to transform your interview responses from good to outstanding. Hi there, my name is Mary and I've been where you are, eager to land that dream data scientist role but unsure how to shine in behavioral and situational interviews. Today, I'll walk you through the STAR technique, a powerful method to structure your answers clearly and impressively. Let's decode this secret together. STAR stands for Situation, Task, Action, Result. It's a storytelling framework that helps you share experiences effectively, showing not just what you did, but how you did it and the impact of your actions. Start with the situation. Set the scene for your story. Describe the context within which you performed a task or faced a challenge at work. Remember, details matter but keep it concise and relevant. Next is the task. Explain the responsibility or challenge you were tasked with. Highlight the goal you needed to achieve. Now dive into the action. This is where you detail the steps you took to address the task or solve the problem. Focus on what you did, showcasing your skills and initiative. Finally, cap your story with the result. Share the outcome of your actions, including quantifiable achievements and what you learn. This shows the value you brought to the team or project. Let's take a look at some examples of how to use the STAR technique in answering interview questions as an aspiring data scientist. Now example number one. Describe a project where you used machine learning to solve a business problem. At my previous company, we faced a significant challenge with customer churn. Our existing models were not effectively predicting which customers were at risk of leaving, resulting in lost revenue and missed opportunities for intervention. As the lead data scientist, I was tasked with developing a more accurate predictive model to identify at-risk customers early on, allowing the company to implement retention strategies more effectively. I began by gathering and cleaning a comprehensive dataset that included customer demographic information, transaction history, and engagement metrics. I then explored several machine learning algorithms, ultimately choosing a gradient boosting machine, GBM, model due to its performance in handling imbalanced datasets and its interpretability. I use Python, specifically the scikit-learn library, for model development and tuning. To ensure the model's effectiveness, I implemented a cross-validation strategy and fine-tuned the hyperparameters. Once the model was developed, I worked with the engineering team to deploy it into production, where it could start scoring customers in real time. The new GBM model significantly outperformed the existing prediction models, increasing the accuracy of churn predictions by 25%. This improvement allowed the marketing team to target at-risk customers with tailored retention campaigns, reducing churn by 15% within the first six months of implementation. The project not only showcased the value of advanced machine learning techniques in solving business problems, but also led to a significant reduction in revenue loss due to customer attrition. Example number two. Tell me about a time you had to communicate complex data findings to a non-technical audience. After conducting a deep dive analysis into product sales performance across different regions, I uncovered several key insights that could help shape our future sales and marketing strategies. My challenge was to present these findings to the executive team, who needed the information to be accessible and actionable but lacked a deep technical understanding of data science methodologies. To bridge this gap, I focused on creating a compelling narrative around the data. I used Tableau to develop interactive dashboards that visually represented sales trends, performance metrics, and predictive forecasts in an intuitive manner. By customizing the visualizations to highlight the most critical insights, such as areas of low performance and high opportunity, I made the data more relatable. I supplemented the visual story with a succinct presentation, using simple language to explain the methodologies used and the implications of the findings. I also prepared a set of actionable recommendations based on the data analysis. The presentation was well received, with several executives praising the clarity and insightfulness of the analysis. 
The interactive dashboards were particularly effective in engaging the audience, facilitating a productive discussion about strategic decisions based on the presented data. As a result, the company reallocated marketing resources to high-opportunity regions, leading to a 20% increase in sales in those areas within the next quarter. This success highlighted the importance of effective data communication and set a new standard for data-driven decision-making within the company. Example number three. Have you ever faced a significant challenge with data quality? How did you handle it? During my tenure at a financial services firm, I was responsible for developing a predictive model to assess credit risk. However, I quickly discovered that the dataset I was supposed to use was plagued with missing values, duplicates, and inconsistencies. My primary task was to clean and pre-process the data to a point where it could be reliably used for predictive modeling without compromising the integrity of the model's predictions. Acknowledging the complexity of the task, I employed a multifaceted approach to data cleaning. I used Python's Pandas library to manipulate the dataset, removing duplicates and handling missing values through imputation techniques informed by domain knowledge. For inconsistencies in data entries, I implemented a combination of automated scripts and manual checks to ensure accuracy. Recognizing the importance of feature engineering in predictive modeling, I also created new variables that better captured the credit risk based on the clean data. Throughout this process, I maintained transparent communication with the data engineering team to improve the data collection and entry processes, preventing future data quality issues. The rigorous data cleaning and pre-processing significantly enhanced the quality of the dataset, enabling the development of a robust credit risk model that improved the prediction accuracy by 30% compared to the firm's previous model. This led to more informed and reliable credit lending decisions, reducing default rates by 10% within a year. The project not only underscored the critical importance of data quality in predictive modeling, but also led to long-term improvements in the company's data management practices. These examples demonstrate how the STAR technique can be effectively used to structure answers in a data scientist interview, showcasing analytical skills, problem-solving capabilities, and the ability to communicate complex information in an accessible manner.